So we were we studied uh, at the beginning in the medical field, uh, then the photography comes. Why this radical change? Uh, I didn't do a formal study. I wanted to be a doctor, a medical doctor. So my first camera was a purchased for a photographer with a microscope to photograph uh, microwaves. And uh, when I changed my direction from medical school to uh, art school, I take a camera out from a microscope and start to make a picture of landscape and people. Uh, you've grown up around Hiroshima. Uh, the historical travels influenced you in some ways, then you will start to document history of photography or not? Uh, no, actually I was born in Osaka. I spent six years of my youth in Iwakuni, which is not Hiroshima. It's um, one hour away from Hiroshima. So uh, people refer the city was small, so it's uh, Hiroshima. But uh, I was born after the war, so I have nothing, no direct uh, contact with the uh, army at So uh, I don't think that affected me uh, for my career at least. Later you moved to New York. Why this choice? Professional or to study? Uh, when I was in uh, art college in Tokyo, uh, I heard the news about uh, the New York is a place. Photography was considered a form of art, which was not in Japan. Uh, museum had only a painting, sculptures, and the art. There's no photography. None of the museum in Japan. But MoMA uh, in New York was the first one at the photography department. And uh, there, photography was considered a form of art. And also in Manhattan, there are two art galleries exclusively dealing with photography as an art to buy and sell. Uh, that was also an art when I was in Tokyo. When I was thinking about what I was going to do, after I graduated art school, then I thought that I would hint that I have to see. Therefore, I made a travel to New York. And then uh, when I spent a few months in New York, I just loved it. I was 20 years old, and I'm crazy wild in New York. It's lots of fun, music, art. So I started to go to uh, find work and living there. Then eventually, I Studio. So in your biography, uh, we can look that you started to do photography, uh, traveling to discover the seven wonders in the world. The seven wonders in the world is the, is the time when you start to real photography. Uh, when I was still uh, undecided about the book type of my own photography was after experimenting in many ways from a street photography to a landscape photography, the architecture, I wasn't sure. Then I decided to uh, make a big trip to Egypt <coughs> to uh, find uh, what I'm looking for. And then that first the trip in Egypt really inspired me from the pyramids, uh, which is made from the stone. And from then, my interest into the stone made uh, monuments, sacred places become already solid and I started my search for uh, the site and also the search for myself, my photography. Uh, you use a very ancient uh, camera. Uh, do you have some teacher, do you have some technical teacher that you appreciate a lot? No, I don't have uh, any teacher for that. I study the basic photography in a college in Tokyo. Uh, but the big camera was the inspiration from a uh, work of a horse truck with a master of the 19th century. And uh, when I saw in the 8x10 platinum prints, I thought that was the kind of method I had to do. But 8x10 was too small. So I uh, contracted to the uh, company named Deodorf and Sons in Chicago. 
special camera on my purpose, which is uh, 40 inch by 20 inch uh, negative. Back to a minute to New York. Uh, New York is a modern city, much cultural city, with not a lot of monuments that uh, uh, tell you history. This push up yourself to discover something else in the world? In New York? In New York, there's not many historical monuments. So this, this thing push you to, to travel to find something else, to, some, to find some monument, historical, with historical flavor, uh, or not? Well, actually, my first trip was uh, Egypt, and uh, I still had a, a fantasy of uh, visiting uh, seven wonders of the world. So, uh, like East Island, Stonehenge, uh, Sri Lanka, Pagoda, and Kowat, uh, one after the other, there are so many of uh, historical places uh, which I start, stopped following them the second one uh, when I started to realize my uh, interest in the spiritual side. So some of them I didn't go, but some places I still went. But, uh, in America, actually, I did a visit some of the uh, Indian monuments, uh, Native American monuments in the southeast, uh, southwest part of America. Last question. Uh, here in Modena, you present a selection of your secret places. Uh, something about it. Uh, what we, we can see in this selection? Uh, this is a, a retrospective of my 34 years of travel, starting in 1979, the first uh, photograph I made in Egypt. The two, uh, yeah, 2012, uh, South India, where I uh, finished. And, uh, I continued in 2013, but uh, there was no time to take my prints. So this is a uh, uh, retrospective of my travel. So it is the digest of uh, where I have been, where, what I have inspired, what I have sensed, it, and what I thought about. Is this puzzle finished or is growing still deeply? It is growing. Actually, the current work I'm working on is more of a portrait of people in India, but it is not uh, just a separate new uh, uh, series. It's actually the evolution of a series of places. But after a series of places, I entitled the uh, series in Bhutan, Bhutan Sacred Within, within, within the people. Then the next one was uh, India where prayer echoes. That was about the people who prayed at the sacred places. And now uh, the title of Eternal Light of India is about you know, the people who give this main character instead of a priest. Then uh, about the life. So it's, uh, everything is in a one big cycle, the starting from a place of worship to the now the people who are worshiping and dying or are born and growing up. So I can say this is the entire series of my lifelong uh, project. And I'm still in the program.